So, we managed to make a working wet air pump in two days. 15, oh, 20 inches, look at that, 22. Yep, yeah, perfect. Right now, this is kind of just a mock-up. I don't have a suction check yet, so I've made a temporary one out of a piece of pipe with a screw in it. This piece of pipe's gonna be soldered inside there, but you can see the screw head and how it sits down inside the ID of the pipe. This is the piston, it's finished. I got the holes bored around, and this little follower that I was talking about in the last video serves as the second check valve. So when it sits down, it lifts and does not allow water to travel through the piston. And when it comes down and it's charging up again, pulling another load of water above itself, it lifts and allows water to flow through the piston. So I'm gonna push it down like this, in there, showing how it self primes and moves water. Here it is with the dome I just finished with the discharge pipe. That's the, this is gonna have a dome over it with a discharge pipe and the dome's gonna have a little, um, not, a, not a packing gland, but a follower here. So it's sort of like a crosshead guide for the piston rod. But I don't have to put very much effort into this at all to get it to lift water. If this was a mill engine instead of a marine engine or something, we wouldn't put a dome over it. Just put a little follower guide up here, and this bucket on top would be connected to a trough, and the water would flood the bucket and flow down the trough back out to the mill pond if it was a jet condenser, or to a hot well if it was a surface condenser or something like that. So that is a the fastest wet air pump maybe anyone I know has ever made. There's probably a lot faster people out there looking at you, John Holroyd, but uh, that's that. Um, stay tuned.